After 20 days of the most enchanting gourmet experiences all around France, this is the glorious Chateau de Versailles, just outside Paris. This year, Versailles is celebrating the birth, four centuries ago, of André Le Nôtre, the genius landscape architect and gardener who designed the superb gardens surrounding the chateau. The French king, Louis XIV, who loved refined food, ordered the opening of the Versailles market around the same time as the opening of the chateau to cater for the large population of the court. It is still an outstanding market. Various varieties of seasonal salads, artichokes and asparagus have been available here since the market opened 350 years ago. It is in Paris at the Boucherie Lamartine, which first opened in 1818, that I meet Yves-Marie Le Bourdonnais, an outstanding butcher who sells some of the finest pork, lamb and beef in France. Et euh, ma grande spécialité, c'est la maturation de la viande. En fait, nous travaillons avec 80 éleveurs. Yves-Marie prefers grass-fed beef and matures it under a controlled atmosphere for up to 60 days for the large rib racks to tenderize them. Que pendant la maturation, le gras va se parfumer. Le, le gras, comme un fromage, s'affine, se, prend un goût particulier et vient nourrir le, la viande de ce goût-là. Et quand on a atteint les 60 jours, on va le sortir, on va enlever toutes les parties oxydées euh, tout autour pour en préparer le morceau euh, prêt à vendre. Every cut of meat is sliced fresh in front of the clients. This meat is superb. This delicate poached beef with spring vegetables has been cooked in the top Parisian restaurants for more than a century. First, I prepare a selection of spring vegetables. I shell some cooked broad beans and peel some baby carrots. Then I tie two pieces of eye fillet with kitchen string, leaving a little extra string dangling. I cook the carrots and some small pieces of celery in a rich beef broth until tender. I drain the vegetables and keep them warm in a saucepan with a bit of stock. I then place the eye fillet in the simmering broth and I attach the extra string to a wooden spoon to stop the meat from touching the base of the saucepan too much. The cooking time depends very much on how you like your meat, but for such a quality piece of eye fillet, it is best not to overcook it. When the meat is cooked, reheat the broad beans with the vegetables and remove the string and cut the fillet in half. Serve the vegetables with a little broth in a deep plate, top with the beef, and garnish with herbs of your choice. This Parisian favorite, bœuf à la ficelle, is truly a timeless classic. In this 2013 edition of Tesla Tour, it has been a great pleasure to visit so many beautiful French places, to meet some of the greatest French chefs and pâtissiers, and to drink some of the finest wines. So until next year, au revoir et merci.